should this replace the V10? Right then, I think it's been a while since I've done this, but new project time. This is a Mark II turret. So, if you remember, we had a Mark II, and it was a V8 one, which were really nice on the road, but when we took it to Wales, I was a little bit unimpressed with how the gearbox works. It didn't have a proper low range, it just slipped the torque converter, and it just felt like you always seem to be getting stuck a lot, and then you had to boot it, and then you seem to be going too fast, and wheel spinning a lot, and chucking bricks all over. So, I didn't like it because of that, and that weren't too bad of a car, a bit untidy trim-wise, but we got it nice on the bodywork. It got that big fiberglass extension stuff that just kept crunching and cracking every time we touched out. Very, very slow, you're about to drop. Oh! We got rid of that one. That's still driving around somewhere, probably been sold five times, like every car that we give away in one of those competitions, but maybe this is another candidate to be given away, but we'll see. The difference in this one and the other one that we had, this is actually a V6, which sounds a little bit more boring because the V8 was very fast, like 400 odd horsepower, ridiculous. This should probably be 300 horsepower with a tune, but the big thing is, it's an escape model, which normally, when you're looking at these sort of cars, you think that the model will just mean what different trim and optional extras and all that sort of stuff. But the Escape one caught my eye. A few people said it in the comments saying, I wonder if you could fit the gearbox from one of them. And I wondered what is the Escape model. So I had a look into it. And this is the main selling point. You can see there, we've got not just an off-road mode, but we've actually got low range, center diff lock and a rear diff lock. Quite a few different changes, we can probably list them all because I'm going to definitely forget them, but the main thing is the gearbox and then if it's got coil springs, it's actually, I think it's 25mm higher, something like that. This is actually an air ride which is quite a rare option for these. And then all the trim's all black, all the trim down here is black which is covered in crap, it's all plastic rather than all chrome or brushed or whatever all the other ones have. And uh, yeah, loads of little bits, there's some, the under trays are actually metal. I don't know if you can, you can't really get to it, but it's got a metal under tray. I think it's got a little bit of a guard on the gearbox as well. We'll get it up on the ramp and have a look at all that. So, this has got a metal under tray. And it does look like it's got a bit of off-roading rash, which means it's been used as intended, which is good. One other thing I've just spotted, the bottom arms are aluminium on this and not um, like cast steel iron, cast iron, folders, whatever the other ones are. They're quite heavy, the other ones, so. Maybe that's why this is much better on fuel, doubt it. And then the other main thing that sets this apart from the others, other Mark IIs at least, is a low range transfer case. Not sure if any of this has carried over from the Mark I, because this is the 8 speed gearbox, not the 6. But yeah, that's the best part of this vehicle, I think. I saw this car on Auto Trader probably a year ago, and Luke who we raced with, he said he wanted it. He wanted me to find him a Mark II V6 with air, which seemed like a struggle. And then I did find this one, decent mileage, a little bit rough in place, a little bit of repairs here and there, but nothing too major. And I sent it him and just said, here's your dream spec. If you ever get rid of it, give me a shout and I'll have it. And then he messaged me a few weeks ago and said, do you want it? Because he's going to low emission zone and charging 12 quid a day. So yeah, it's here. We've got it. Not really got any massive plans. These wheels, and not standard. Scott put these on because it was going to snow this weekend and it didn't, so it were a waste of time. But he normally got some 18 inch with some normal 255, 55s or whatever. But these are some, I think they work at about 32 inch or something like that. These are what, these are for my Tureg. Awful wheels, I hate these wheels. I'm going to get some different ones and put these tyres on them. But they'll do the job if it starts snowing over the next few days. But the sun's out at the minute, so it probably isn't. Why would somebody come up here in a fiesta? That is a strange question. But anyway, I think we'll go for a little run in it, 
see where it drives like so literally the only time I've drove it was from in yard there to here and I was talking so I wasn't paying attention so I'll go for a little run and uh, see what it's like so 240 horsepower standard for this <coughs> year of V6 engine no fancy there like I said before 300 wheel tune now I'm not saying Luke was the one but I do know he's a fidgeter Whoever had this car before picks at stuff because a little bit of steering wheel and buttons are a bit picked off. I've just been having a play about with diff locks and everything. Yeah, it does work. Obviously, this has got all the same amount of diff locks as my V10. So I think it'd be a nice test to put this up against the V10 and see. So this is its equivalent as such. Air ride, diff locks. Look at the size of that crane. That's a big crane. Gets warm very quick with that diesel heater on. These have got an 100 litre tank, I think the others have only got an 80 as well. 20, 40, 50, 60, 40 to me. Definitely quieter than my V10, so that out, I'm sure. I think comfort, suspension, printer, sport. Definitely a step up from my one. It's just a nice car, obviously. Lots of improvements of an old one. Nice piano black. I'm not going to have to get rattle can out to make this look nicer. The seats feel really good. Lever in Alcantara. Not sure if Alcantara is best thing for off roading, but we'll see. I mean, the Touregs have always been good cars. It's a little bit wobbly on road with these. Tires are more so than uh, my Turek. They might be bigger than this. And off road tires. Yeah, not 100% sure what we're going to do with this. Everybody we've sent pictures of it with winter tires and said we've already ruined it, which I think that's what modifying cars is, isn't it? Ruining them for everybody else except yourself. I think we'll probably only get 32 inch tires on this. We are hacking it to bits, same as the other Turegs. These are about 32 and they're just scrubbed, so get some 32 inch mud tyres on this. Lift kit maybe. Try and come up with something nice and neat for a snorkel because this is not going to wear an 80mm pipe sticking out of the side. Gonna be a winch bumper, bull bar type thing, I don't know. I've seen a few ideas. What other people are doing. A lot of Yanks like messing with these, so I don't think you've got the escape model, so unlucky. Got a diesel here on the button as well so it's an extra fob which I don't like having an extra fob you just press that button when you're not in car and it fires that up so it's warm when you get in it which is <coughs> a bit try it in the morning should this replace the V10 people should we wrap to it a few little marks on bodywork that would upset Luke he loved this car Luke's had a lot of cars and he said this is his favourite I had to do a demonstration on the uh, the tow bar. He told me that you'd have to finish it off with your finger, which I don't know what he was on about when he said that, but maybe that'll get it way up in a receiver itch on for some big towings. I had to come up with something else for that. I did ring alarm bells that they were coolant in when he sent me pictures and says, are you still wanting it? And there were a bottle of coolant in the door pocket. I did ring alarm bells and apparently it's been fixed. Got a three grand invoice in we all stuff. I don't feel we're doing too bad. Again it for price we got it for. So these are these command a bit of a premium, but I think these are one of them cars that some people probably got it. They don't even know they've got it. They're one of them sort of vehicles. But I think the main thing, I'll take it home tonight and see if George approves. Do you approve George? No. Back to work. no, to swap it for V10. Mm. Maybe. So do you think we should swap it for V10? Yeah. I knew it. Now I'll let uh, Lauren drive it and see if she approves. And I'm going to get a map on it soon enough, so I'm going to get it over to Tuners. I'm going to read it. We'll do some more videos on this pretty shortly. See how we get on. This is probably the most boring review video ever. Not got too excited about it, but it's pretty 
exciting.